I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometry. Here is a level 2 question for you. If sine to the power of 4 theta over a plus cos to the power of 4 theta over b is equal to 1 over a plus b, then prove that sine to the power of 8 theta over a cube plus cos to the power of 8 theta b cube is equal to 1 over a plus b whole cube. You can always pause the video, answer, and then look into my suggestions. So let's work with what is given to us and then we'll try to prove that particular thing. So here we are given that sine to the power of 4 theta over A plus cos to the power of 4 theta over B is equal to 1 over a plus b. So in the first step, let's get rid of the denominator. We'll multiply all the terms by a b times a plus b, right? So in the first step, we'll multiply all of them by a times b times a plus b. So if we do that, the first term gets multiplied by b times a b, right? So we get b times a plus b times sine to the power of 4 theta plus the second term gets multiplied with a times a plus b cos to the power of 4 theta and here we get a times b, right? Now we can open this bracket so we get a b sine to the power of 4 theta plus b square sine to the power of 4 theta plus a square cos to the power of 4 theta plus a b cos to the power of 4 theta. Let's bring a b to the left side. So we get minus a b equals to 0. Now here, with a, b, we have got three terms. Let's combine them and let's keep uh, a square, b square terms together. So we will just rearrange it. So writing this as b square sine to the power of 4 theta plus a square cos to the power of 4 theta plus a, b can be taken as common, right? We got sine to the power of 4 theta plus cos to the power of 4 theta minus 1 equals to 0. Now the term in the bracket can be written as what? This is a square plus b square minus 1. We could write this as, let me show you what we're trying to write this as. If I write a square plus b square whole square, what do I get? I get a to the power of 4 plus twice a square b square plus b to the power of 4, correct? So here we do not have plus 2a square b square, so we can add and subtract the same thing, right? So we'll do the same. So we'll keep the first two terms same, which is b square sine to the power of 4 theta plus a square cos to the power of 4 theta plus a b and in here we'll write these two terms as sine square theta plus cos square theta whole square so we basically get sine to the power of 4 theta plus cos to the power of 4 theta plus two times these terms so we can write minus two times sine square theta cos square theta, right? Now it becomes exactly the same and we have minus 1 here, right? So equals to 0. That makes sense? So that is what we have done. So we have utilized this formula here. Now you know what sine square theta plus cos square theta is just 1 and 1 minus 1 is 0. So we are left with minus 2 sine square theta cos square theta, right? So we'll rewrite this as b square sine to the power of 4 theta plus a square 
cos to the power of 4 theta plus AB. And within brackets, we could write this as 1 plus. Okay, so let me write this as 1 minus 2 sine square theta cos square theta minus 1 for the time being. So that becomes 0, right? So we get b square sine to the power of 4 theta plus a square cos to the power of 4 theta. And 1 minus 1 is 0. We are only left with minus 2. So we'll write this as minus 2ab sine square theta cos square theta equals to 0. So now again, we get something very similar to what we wrote, right? If we have minus here, in that case, this will be minus, right? So do you see that square thing coming here? Let me make it more clear. So we could actually think like this. It is B sine square theta whole square plus A cos square theta whole square minus 2 b sine square theta times a cos square theta equals to 0. Perfect. So now you could match this and you could write exactly what we want to write which is a square minus b square, right? So we get here, so square of this and square of this, that means we get this plus this, right? So now we could write this as b, let me write here, b sine square theta minus a cos square theta whole square equals to zero. Perfect. So that is what we get from this. Now we can actually simplify this and then find the value for the given expression, right? So from here, we'll actually take it to the next page and then do further calculations, correct? So starting from this expression, we just derived that B sine square theta minus A cos square theta whole square is equal to zero. Now that really means that when we square root, this term is zero. That means b sine square theta minus a cos square theta is equal to zero, right? So which we could simplify and write b sine square theta is equal to a cos square theta and dividing we get sine square theta divided by cos square theta is equal to a over b and this is tan square theta right so we get tan square theta equals to a over b or we get tan theta equals to square root of a over square root of b perfect so this is what we get now what does that mean now that really means that if i have a triangle in which the angle is theta for us. Since tan theta is square root A over B, that is the ratio of opposite side to adjacent side, correct? This should be A square plus B square square root. So this should be A plus B square root, right? A square plus B square square root. So that leads to the triangle which we just have here, right? Perfect. Since we know tan theta is opposite over adjacent side, correct? Now, from here, we can find what is sine theta and what is cosine theta, substitute the values, and then do the needful. So from here, we get that sine theta should be equal to square root A over square root of A plus B, and cos theta should be equal to square root of b, the adjacent side, over square root of a plus b. Correct? Now we could substitute these values 
in our equation and then find what is sine to the power of 8 theta over a cube plus cos to the power of 8 theta over b cube, correct? We know the values of sine theta and cos theta, right? So let's rewrite. So, so now uh, we have to write what is sine theta. So this is like sine to the power of 8 theta over a cube, right? Plus cos to the power of 8 theta over b cube. We know sine theta is all this, so we could write this as, we could write like this, a over a plus b to the power of half, right? All are square root, correct? Let me, let me just continue here. So we can write here sine theta is equal to a over a plus b square root, right? And cos theta equals to b over a plus b square perfect so that's what i'm writing to the power of half it helps to the power of eight we want to the power of eight so that is a numerator to the power of eight do you see that sine to the power of eight theta over a cube that means i'll multiply this by one over a cube does it make sense over a cube plus this term here we'll write like this so it is basically b over a plus b to the power of half and then to the power of 8. You see that. So I use different brackets but times 1 over b cube. So basically I substituted these values here, right? So when you open the bracket, what do you get? You get a to the power of 4, right? over a plus b to the power of 4 times 1 over a cube plus here you get b to the power of 4 over a plus b to the power of 4 times 1 over b cube. So cube and cube cancels you are left with a now right. So we get a and the denominators are now same, right? So we get a over a plus b to the power of 4 plus b over a plus b to the power of 4, correct? Now we can take the same denominator, which is a plus b to the power of 4, and the numerator is a plus b. So one of the powers cancels, and what are we left with? So we get 1 over a plus b whole cube. Do you see that? So a plus b, a plus b, one of them cancel, right? So we could cancel this with this 3 and we get a plus b cube. Do you see that part? So that is how we are going to prove it. So I hope it makes sense. So the important part here is we started with this and then showed that it boils down to tan theta equals to square root a over b. Looking at that triangle, we know what sine and cosine is. Substituting the values, we show that this is equal to 1 over 1 plus b whole cube. So I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.